someone from the Elevated Craft company sent me this shaker. And to be honest, I'm a little surprised since I'm the guy who uses the glass jar to shake my drinks, a protein shaker, a wooden shaker, and basically anything really that can help me to properly chill my cocktail and add air to it. My all-time favorite was always a Boston shaker, the original shaker that is being used in most bars. I like it because I can treat it like this. But for whom a lot more popular are cobbler shakers. Probably because they have a strainer, they look better, and probably because dropshippers floated all online stores with cheap Chinese bar sets, and you don't see any other options when you search for a cocktail shaker. Well, but shakers are not like iPhones. They don't come with one new feature every year. That was my first shaker when I started mixing drinks like 30 years ago. It's pretty much the same as bartenders used in the 1840s when shakers were created. And that same shaker I used when I made a pisco punch a few days ago. So the gentleman named Adam Kraft decided to step in, spend two years of his life and change the way we shake cocktails at home. He created this futuristic cocktail shaker designed to make the perfect craft cocktails at home. And he had massive success since $2.5 million was contributed on Indiegogo. This means that there were so many home cocktail enthusiasts who were unsatisfied with these professional shakers for bartenders. What's in the box? It feels a little heavier than cobbler shaker, 516 grams. 244 and Boston shaker is 337. Design is very similar to a cobbler shaker. It also has three parts. But instead of closing like this, you twist the top part and open and, and do the same with the middle. And with this, Adam solved for us really annoying issue. If you used a cocktail shaker in your lifetime, you know it could leak if you don't use them properly. To avoid spillage, you might notice how bartenders use this technique. They start shaking slowly so the temperature changes. The shaker gets cold and metal parts are sealed better. So after shaking for just a few seconds, they shake really hard. That way you are less likely to spill. And also sometimes if you shake it too hard for too long, it expands and makes it harder to separate these parts. It happened to me before when I used the cheap shaker at the event and I've seen it many times when beginner bartenders hit shaker too hard, two pieces stuck and it takes a little extra effort to separate it. Twisting caps don't leak and not go into stock so you can effortlessly open them and strain. Speaking of strainer, here is how different it looks from the cobbler shaker. It's different, so there's probably a reason behind it. Let's compare how it strains. Let's add one large scoop of ice into each shaker. And shake. For the best flow, they recommend it to hold at 45 degrees. Or if you make something with muddled fruits, you can just open it and use a regular Hawthorne strainer and strain it like that, of course. So it fits perfectly. But that's not it. The coolest feature is this measuring top, which you can use as a jigger or build an entire cocktail in it. A few years back, in one of the episodes about cobbler shakers, I figured out that this little cap's capacity is exactly one ounce. And mentioned how convenient it would be to use this entire part as a measuring cup. So now you can start making a cocktail by putting all the ingredients in there. There are lines from one to six ounces and also little lines in between for half an ounce. But if you're making a couple of drinks and planning to pour more than six ounces, you can use it as a jigger. So let's try half ounce, one ounce of juice, one ounce. Large two by two cube of ice won't fit. Uh, so forget about doing Japanese hard shake, but I don't think you're buying it for your bar. It's mostly for home bartenders. I don't think you're going to do it at home anyway. <laughs> Small and medium size are okay. There you go. Close it tight and shake. 
It sounds a little different than regular shaker. Not going to pretend it's so unusual to shake it like that. I've never done it in my life. I always had to hold the cap. And now you can just shake like that. <laughs> Whew. Twist and strain. It's really easy to use that even my dad, who never made a cocktail in his entire life, probably can figure out how to use it. I can't really say anything bad about this shaker. There are a couple of things that might stop you from buying it though. First, someone who used to regular shakers might not like that it's double wall insulated, so when you shake it, it doesn't get cold. There is no condensation on the outside. I'm totally okay with that since I know that usually it takes me about 10 to 15 seconds to shake drink properly and my hands not going to get cold when you have to shake multiple drinks in a row. Plus you will not over dilute your cocktail if you are mixing it outside unless you live in Las Vegas. And second is of course price. It costs $68. For that amount of money you can buy almost 20 regular shakers or three the identical shakers, but it will say Cocktail Kingdom here. Well, with all the features, a shaker that has a lifetime warranty for a price of a good tequila bottle, it's not bad at all. Plus, I think it could be a really nice present for someone who wants to get into mixing cocktails at home. What can I say? It is very exciting time to mix quality cocktails at home. You got all the tutorials, cool recipes at your fingertips, fresh ingredients and alcohol can be delivered to your door within hours. And with bar equipment like this one, you can mix drinks effortlessly. I really want to use it on my main channel, but I think it's kind of too good and most of my viewers will get a little confused if I start using this uh, instead of the jigger. <laughs> well, please let me know in the comments if I should switch or keep using whatever you have in your kitchen pantry. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this review and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. But I will see you in the next video.